Hello there all, Kate back here and welcome, welcome to this channel. There's so much to see and experience in this world and I strongly believe that cruises offer us one of the best ways to do it, with minimum hassle and oftentimes great value for money. As a seasoned cruiser in this video, I will share with you top 10 tips to make the most out of your voyage. Don't forget to subscribe, press that button and let's jump right in. First, get there fast. Seriously, choose the earliest embarkation time and get on that ship. It's the first day of your vacation, vacation you're paying good money for. Book your boarding time online as soon as you can as those slots go fast. Again, you're paying for that first day, you might as well use it. If you get there early, you'll be able to explore the ship, grab a nice lunch, sit by the pool or in jacuzzi, hands, pack your swimming suit in your carry-on luggage and swim, swim away. Order a nice drink and let the holiday begin. A natural follow-up tip number two to make the first day possible, you want to arrive early at your departure port at least a day and a half. If you will only take one tip from this video, this should be the one. Let's face it, cruising is not cheap, so you want to make it to that ship. Hence, arriving a day in advance is the only way to ensure that you won't miss it. Something that happens to cruisers more often than you might think. In order not to be that guy, arrive to the departure port early. Tip number three, your cruise daily planner is without a doubt your very best friend on a cruise. Cruise lines put out daily schedules. That's exactly the point in a way, like no hassle. You don't have to organize your holidays. They're organized for you. But in order to make the most out of it, you might as well read what is on the offer. It also appears on the app, normally both. It would be in your cabin, on paper and it will be on the app. This is your guiding star in how best spend your day. Without a doubt, cruise can be a great value for money or not so great. That all depends on to what extent you make the most out of it. Daily planners are exactly what you need in order to optimize your holiday. Many apps allow you to book items, save items, get a reminder about the activities you want to attend. Pay attention to the shows and activities that are twice a day or repeated during the cruise. This will allow you to truly optimize your holidays the best way you can. Tip number four, do your homework. Homework? Wasn't it like a holiday? Was there supposed to be a homework? A little bit of homework will take you a long way. Research ports in advance and sign up for private tours, either with your cruise line or with local providers. Booking tours on board of the ship is very, very easy and, you know, fairly decent. It is quite expensive, however, and sometimes subpar to what local tour providers can offer. My key tips here. First thing you need to do is to see whether ships arrive within a walking distance to the key sites or cruise liners provide free shuttles to the downtown of the city, for example. That would save you a lot of money. You potentially can discover the place by yourself. Sometimes it's not the case. Ports can be located quite far away. In such a case, check the tours that a cruise liner offers. Check the reviews, check the itinerary, compare the offers to the local providers, decide which ones are better. In many cases, you can save a lot of money and get better touring experience if you book it locally. I haven't tried, but I've heard that Viator and Tours by Locals are pretty good websites to get tours with local providers. Finally, in some port, local entrepreneurs offer great deals. Notable example would be Mykonos trip to Dallas. That's in Greece. That's speaking from my personal experience. The tour to Dallas was very, very expensive on board. But once we got off on the Mykonos Island, there were local boats that were providing a return trip for like, I don't know, 20 euro per person or something. So such research truly can enrich your experience and save you a lot of money. Make your trip the way you want it, right? Customize it to your needs. So do your homework. Tip number five, sign up in advance. Plan in advance, sign up in advance for activities way before boarding or right after. Many of the best activities require advanced booking, including specialty dinings. You can always cancel if your plans change, but you won't be able to make it if they're fully booked. With this approach, you can also ensure that your activities do not overlap if you don't organize them in advance and you will not be rushed. 
Definitely speak to the passengers. Sometimes you can get the best advice from them. True story, a couple recommended us a bar with the best live music on board and they were right. After trying that bar once, we skipped like a whole bunch of things just to make it there. We stood in line to get there because there was no way to book it. We love those guys. By the way, if you're going to get away and you see these guys, send them my warmest regards from Kate. I love them. And tip number six, download the cruise app. In other words, get the app. A growing number of lines now have their own apps that can that you can install in advance of sailing. The apps vary in what they can do, but most of them will show you a daily list of activities and will allow you to reserve things. Many will also tell you, you know, restaurants, reservations, times, allow you to book shore excursions, read reviews, check out the itinerary and more. They're pretty useful things, I have to say. And the best thing of it, they don't require Wi-Fi package. So they will still work and update on the Wi-Fi available without needing to pay for it. Tip number seven, get to know the ship. Explore, explore, and then explore some more. Take a self-guided tour, take your time, enjoy and take notes of the places that you would most like to visit. Note the most important places for sure, the atrium, the concert hall, main restaurants, other places to eat, such as open air ones. Where's the best Wi-Fi? By the way, by using the Wi-Fi in different locations of the ship, you will be able to find where the routers are, and that's where the faster internet connection will be. Find a quiet place to relax, find where to have your cup of coffee, find a place where you would want to read. Start from the top of the deck, walk your way through to the level down. To avoid the regret of not being able to spend enough time in your favorite spot that you have discovered on the last day, check the boat thoroughly <laughs> on the first day that you will know where you would want to go. So tip number eight, specialty dining. If you're new to cruising, every cruise has, or most of them anyway, have specialty dining. So it basically means super duper five star Michelin star, perhaps Michelin stars worthy type of restaurants. And those are not complimentary. Those are not included. You could have a package separate that you'd buy. So you'd have one or two included or three or you can pay off the pocket, which are fairly expensive restaurants. But specialty dinings are in fact very special and certainly worth a lot of attention. Planning them would be a worthy thing to do. Book the table in advance. Make sure that they don't overlap with a long, short excursion so you don't have to run or be late for your reservation in the restaurant. My favorite on NCL was consistently Le Bistro. That's a French restaurant. That would be my suggestions for NCL. For other cruise lines, discover yourself. Uh, that's probably <laughs> tip number nine is probably my favorite tip and it's in the end because I decided to give it to those who stay to the end. <laughs> so go wild. Cruising is magical, eventful and romantic. So let yourself loose. Try new things. Go wild with your outfits, shoes, hair. Every day is special. You eat out every meal. <laughs> so there's plenty of opportunities to try out all of your wildest outfits. Nobody here knows you, so you can be whoever you want to be. Get out of your comfort zone. It isn't that comfortable anyway. Get adventurous. Stay up dancing, watch sunset and sunrise. <laughs> Most importantly, meet new people and truly try to be yourself. No need to impress anyone here. You may be surprised of how much fun that actually is. Tip number 10. Suitable not only for cruising, but for life in general. Do not run. Enjoy. Balance the trying and exploring with being in the present moment, slowing down and savoring. Skip some of the port, maybe. Go to the spa. They actually have really good offers when it's a port day. Read by the pool. Have a slow, very, very slow breakfast. If you do venture ashore, when in Rome, do as Romans do, <laughs> as they say. So, in other words, go local. Uh, try to have a siesta, maybe. Enjoy a cup of coffee on an open square. Observe people. Stroll without an aim. And just be. Just be. It is your holiday. It's time to be present. 
And that would be all that I wanted to share with you on the top 10 cruising tips. Hope they were helpful and informative. Let me know if you've been cruising before, what companies did you cruise with, which ones did you like, what would you recommend yourself, what tips did you find most useful. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the future content about cruising and beyond. Check out my other cruise videos, a link would be in the description down below. See you soon!